Thank you for choosing to become a volunteer driver for Meals on Wheels of Eastern Onondaga County. Your service allows people in our community to receive nutritious meals while remaining in their own home. We follow standard operating procedures outlined by Onondaga County to ensure the safety of both our clients and our drivers. These are the guidelines for becoming a successful volunteer driver. When you arrive at Meals on Wheels for your shift, you will find a binder with the driver's manual for your particular route. The binders are numbered 1 to 10. Each binder contains five sections. Number one, client list with total meals to be delivered. Number two, individual client information sheets. Number three, driver instructions. Number four, maps. Number five, emergency procedures. The client list is the top page of the binder and will list the name and address for each of the clients you will be delivering meals to that day. The client list adds up the total number of meals you will be delivering that day. Locate the cold foods cooler for your route number, which has been pre-packed. Open the cooler and count the number of bags inside. Then load this cooler into your car. Next, the hot meals will come out of the kitchen in another cooler. The order in which the coolers come out of the kitchen is based on the furthest driving distance of the route and the number of clients on that route. Many of our clients receive weekend service. For these people, on Fridays, we also deliver bags with frozen meals for the weekend. Check your client list to see whether any of your Friday clients also receive a weekend meals bag. Those drivers traveling the farthest distance will receive their hot coolers first. So, arriving early for your delivery does not mean that you will receive your hot food cooler before those who have to travel the farthest for their route. While you're waiting for your hot food, you should review your client list. See if any new clients have been added. A map should be provided for any new client. Check for any special instructions on client delivery. If you're not sure of where you are going, please ask the Director of Operations before you leave the building. Once you have loaded both coolers into your vehicle, you start making your deliveries. Most clients are expecting your arrival. In most cases, you will go to the front door, ring the doorbell, or knock. Identify yourself as Meals on Wheels. If the client does not answer and the door is unlocked, you may enter the home. Place all of the food, both the hot and cold meals, into the refrigerator. Do not leave food on a counter or table since we don't know how long it will be until the client returns. Food safety is critical. In the unlikely event that a client has fallen or is unresponsive, do not attempt to lift or move an injured client. Call 911, wait for help to arrive. Call the main office at 315-637-5446 to alert the Director of Operations. Then review the emergency procedures found in the binder to ensure all appropriate steps are taken. If you cannot enter the home, bring the food back to your vehicle and return the meals to the proper cooler for hot or cold. Do not leave the food outside on the porch or doorstep. If the client is unavailable and the house is locked, double check the client instructions to see if there are any special instructions. You may also attempt to call the client. Their telephone number will be listed on the appropriate client information sheet. Place a door tag on the door handle, mailbox, or another prominent place. This will alert the client that an attempt was made to deliver their meals. Once those attempts have been made, you may drive to your next delivery stop. Once all your deliveries have been made, return directly to the Meals on Wheels facility. Please do not run any personal errands because the operations director cannot lock up for the day until all the drivers have returned with their coolers. Once you return to the Meals on Wheels facility, Advise the Director of Operations about your deliveries. If there were any undelivered meals, unusual behavior, or comments from any of the clients. The Director will make any follow-up phone calls to clients' emergency contacts to make sure everything is okay. 
Bring your coolers to the back room. Remove hot bricks from the hot cooler and stack them in the designated area. Remove the ice bricks from the cold cooler and place them in the freezer. Return your coolers to the metal shelves where they are stored. The coolers are arranged in numerical order. Be sure to place your numbered cooler in the proper slot. Remove any tape tags on top of the cooler because those only apply for that particular day. Any new special instructions will be taped to the coolers the next day prior to delivery. With that, your service for the day is complete. Remember, never discuss with people outside Meals on Wheels personal client information. That includes the person's identity, their living conditions, any health matters or the like. Always maintain confidentiality. Again, we thank you for becoming a Meals on Wheels volunteer driver. We hope you find the experience to be rewarding. If you have any questions, please feel free to speak with Terry Davis. She'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks again for driving for Meals on Wheels.